Today is the 5th of May 2011 and again we'd like to welcome you to our video presentation supporting our May 3rd market view analysis the next best high probability trade and choosing the right foreign currency pair to trade by using the process of deduction, with that said, we've chosen the cross rates Euro Yen and the Sterling Yen to be more favorable and had more market potentials from last week's trading, where the Euro actually touched its previous high at the level of 1.4938 which far exceeded the 1.4880 that we have initially spe speculated on however the 1.4774 low was actually the pivotal point where it stalled and consolidated on this area between the previous high of 1.4938 and the 1.4753 level where the actual curve as you could see here have indicated a continuation of the up move from a low of 1.4157 give and take and the stretch or extension to 1.4938 is now consolidating at that price levels. However, we did choose the Euro Yen as you could see here on a daily basis. Let's see if we could trans transfer to a weekly where we have indicated before from our to make it a little bit bigger so everyone would be able to see will extend it lower where the previous spike formation that we call it here weighed heavier on the prices where it did made a low as you could see here on a star at 116.46 from a high of 123.26. However, the tendency now for the prices to continue to move lower back down to the 116.38 would be more likely be made considering that the stochastics is still negative here with the signal of 84.51 although the euro may still have tendency to move higher but as long as the pound is stalling the movement of the euro where the actual relative index here is still negative and let's put it back up here so which means that the tendency now if you could see that this market still has a negative tone comparing it with the sterling yen which is working at the 132.82 level with a low of 132.70 which we actually speculated on looking at it more as we have said before which has a similar configuration of a spike formation on the high side with engulf negative engulfing bars negating the positive tone from the previous weeks up move and the equidistant channel which is parallel to at 130.66 with an objective of 131.83 
from the high of 139.52, which we did anticipate that an earlier entry shorting the sterling yen more favorably than the euro yen, which would be pacing the pound sterling on its down movement. However, these are all in line with a negative stochastics at 74 currently now with momentum slightly lower, which actually means that there are no buyers on the pound at this point in time, especially with the negative report that they made on the sterling pound. As you can see, the side-by-side -side comparison between the Euro Yen and the sterling Yen on a weekly basis has that similarity where this particular bar with a long tail down to 122.55 is actually being retraced. However, how far it goes would really depend on the movement of the dollar yen, which is currently now at one at 80.42 with a slower momentum with continuation of the dollar yen moving lower and stochastics on the negative side nearing its overbought and the relative strength index on a 14-day average is at 33 which still has more room to move lower however the 79.70 is actually what is trying to attempt at this point in time and looking at it on a weekly basis what we can see here is already a low of 80.35 which would easily be more heading towards the 76.57 trend line and with momentum still lower stochastics breathing on a negative tone and as we have mentioned that the sterling yen is in line with the negative tone on the dollar yen Now we would like to give you that pause so you would be able to look at it real well, the comparison of these three charts. So looking at it more on a bigger perspective on a weekly basis would give you a pretty good idea of where and how we are actually doing the trading on speculating that the cross rates are more favorable to be trading with right now compared or rather wa if rather waiting for the euro to move and continue higher however the cross rates at this point in time are more favorable now with that said the continuation of the cross rates on these two pairs would still continue towards the end of the week and we will be looking at the closing prices across the board where the US dollar would end right after the release of the unemployment report which may hold favorable for the US dollar however it would be quite difficult to be speculating right now whether the report would really be that positive to make a difference on the US dollar to recover. Thank you very much and have a pleasant day.